One final time with our Mike Yanni. He's at a school in the Cochrane area. High school program, Mike, you've been uh, kind of highlighting this morning where the kids actually get to build a house. Yeah, this is really cool. It's getting loud in the house here. Uh, that's what happens when you give grade 10 students a lot of coffee and you give them power tools. Chris is now trying his hand uh, now at the uh, hardwood flooring. Victor, he's, uh, he's got a busy job here. He's now foreman. He's practicing his skills as foreman this morning. Uh, it is an incredible project, and somebody who's been watching this all the way through, Rob Kamara, principal here at Bow Valley High School. This is really impressive to stand here and just watch the students work. Mm -hmm. Well, that's part of the reason why we went uh, in this direction. We know that if you can give the kids an authentic kind of learning opportunity, that they can take ownership of it. And, and really, the spin off is that you know, they're interacting in a different place, in a realistic environment with adults the confidence that they're building, the pride in the, in the work that they're doing. So school now becomes something a little bit different than uh, traditionally what we have seen in the past, and, and it's engaged a group of kids that might otherwise uh, not have been as engaged. Right. And sure, you could do some of this. You can replicate some of this in a workshop environment, but this is different when you're to think that this was a hole in the ground when they started and they built it up from there. Yeah, I, I think the difference is they're interacting with the trades, and the trades don't often have an opportunity either to, to show and take pride in what they're doing. So the kids really get a sense of what it means to, to take ownership of something in, 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 a, in a work environment, and that's something that you can't replicate in, in a shop because they're not interacting with those trades and those people that take pride in what they're doing in a different area that, that often isn't seen. So a, a good opportunity for both the builder and the trades is in addition to our, in our kids, and I think that's why it works. This is the first year for the Building Futures program. I know the year's not already up, but looking forward, do you think this is something you'll continue? Um, well, hopefully. I mean, uh, we, we would view this as a really successful project for us. Um, in, in speaking with the kids, we've seen uh, improvements in, in a lot of things uh, academically as well as uh, confidence-wise. Uh, the builder seems to be really happy. Kingsmith Homes and Craig uh, are really supportive of continuing because they've also seen um, some pauses for them. So hopefully uh, we can keep this going for at least another five to seven years. I know they have some lots here. And then divisionally, I know that they're looking at expanding to other areas uh, in Rocky View schools. And that's really uh, what we would like to see because we've seen um, the benefit to, to kids and really that's what education for us is about. An event is coming up uh, later on this month, an open house? Yeah, so on the 21st we have an open house uh, for the public to come and see what the kids have done. The kids will be showcasing all of uh, their work being able to speak and that, you know, so they will take the leadership role. I mean, it's their home and they've put their time and effort into it along with Kingsmith Homes. And it's uh, going to be a really exciting opportunity for them to put on display what their year's uh, effort has been all about. Well, it's very impressive, as I mentioned earlier this morning, walking through here uh, just to see the craftsmanship uh, the, and the skills from the students. And I understand they're building this house for you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I I would take it. You know, it's going to be a it's, it's a very well built home. We know that it is. We know the time and effort and the commitment that's gone into it. So I'd be happy to, to take it on. Unfortunately, he does not get the home. Uh, but hey, uh, you know what? It's been a learning experience for me this morning. Uh, there's a few things I learned, but actually, one thing I would like to learn more about is electric electricity. I'm not electric. Who knows about electricity here? Anyone? Anyone? Bryn, there you go. You're hired. Bryn's going to teach me how to install some light fixtures and maybe some uh, outlets this morning. Come over and <laughs> See? But I don't work for free labor, that's for sure. Uh -huh. I need some there, there's always Good a catch. There's always a catch, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, uh, once again, stay safe. Mike is actually off on a junket next week. Jill will be back 